Peace be France. I greet you wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. Depends on your time zone. I I am happy to know that you are there. And I believe that you will always be there. It's given me joy this moment to inform you that the release of Mazen Amdekano and uh, Biafra Restoration are happening at the same time now. Because why? There is a great and good news because great decisions are being made by great people. I want to inform you and assure you that great people have come into Biafra restoration decision as they have discovered from all ramifications that was what Mazen Amdekano was saying is a simple truth. And what Mazen Simon Eba is doing is according to the international constitution. So we are not rebellious people. We are very obedient, well-coordinated, according to the law of international community. So for this reason, violence, killing and fighting mayhems are not for Biafrans. Biafrans are not violent and they have not committed any mayhem from any angle of the world. And this is why Wonderful people, intelligent people, people with sound mind, people with integrity, people with sincerity, decided to look into the matter of Biafra issues and to settle it once and for all. So to avoid impunity killings in Biafra land and to avoid unnecessary and illegal detention of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Ohamadike I of Ibo land, Mazenam de Kano. It is a great thing to hear that United States of Biafra have come to stay. And we shall all rejoice together because an unusual miracle have taken place. And this is what have taken many years ago and today we are there. Without further destructions of life and uh, vandalism, peacefully we are there. And therefore, I want to encourage every Biafran minded person to understand that this time the struggle is coming to an end is the time that we have to be energized invigorated with the power wisdom knowledge and understanding to avoid sabotage sabotage in any form or in any angle 
because without Biafra nation, Igbos have no hope. Igbos doesn't have any place or anything. And that is why by all means, the invaders want to take it away from Biafrans. Let me take, tell you something. Some Igbos are jubilated and are being happy for nothing. Why I say for nothing is because the governor of Lagos State said they should allow Igbos to stay in Lagos. My friend, reason well, use your tongue and count your teeth. The time they told you to go, how did you feel? You felt bad because they selected your houses and demolished it, destroyed it. They selected your shops and destroyed it. They burnt your goose in Lagos. And you are happy. And, and, and that their decision have rendered many Igbo people useless today. It has made many Igbo businessmen and women, they don't know what to do. They have been devastated. And now you are happy. Did the person give you Lagos permanently? All right? Even I believe that some of you have residential permit or C of O. Certificate of Occupancy. So, and they undermined your certificate in your hand and went ahead to demolish your lives and livelihoods. And today, because the governor of Lagos said you can continue living in Lagos and it is giving you joy. What joy do you have? You are temporarily living there. Just know it. Any day they mean you, they will make sure that you are completely out of Lagos, whether you like it or not. Because you cannot use two hands to drag what does not belong to you. Why not you see reason to come down to Biafra land, have a rethink on how you can, with your resources, with your mentality, and your God-given talent, to develop your own country and stop being a slave in every nook and corner of Nigeria. Be an indigent of your state. Some of you does not go home because you believe that Lagos is the kingdom of heaven. But for your information, any day it happens, that day you will know that flies have teeth. I don't have much to tell you than to reason well. Listen, it's better that you rejoice for the coming of Biafra. It's better that you are happy and celebrating Biafra, Biafra nation coming soon. It's better that you see yourself be in your own nation where nobody will come and tell you get out of my country, get out of my land. Fundamentally understand that anything that have a beginning must have an end. Today, we have been fighting to see how Biafra can become restored as a nation. 
and some of you are busy sabotaging the Biafra sovereign state to stop it. And you say many things, you do many things against the coming of Biafra. You distracted and frustrated many people from seeing it to be real, from seeing a reason to exit from Nigeria. For your information, no condition is permanent. The only permanent condition is change. The only thing that is permanent is change. Without change, there is nothing permanent. And the change can come that before you were poor and today you are rich. And it can happen that before you are rich and today you are poor. It may also happen that yesterday you were alive and today you are dead. So nothing is permanent except to change. And we believe why we are fighting for our nation to come. That change is the only thing that is permanent. And it is time for change to come in Biafra land. So that those who are not reasoning well can begin to reason well. So that those who refuse to understand can quickly understand the meaning of our struggle because we are not struggling for nothing. There is something that prompted us struggling to leave Nigeria. And because Nigeria as a state confirmed that without Biafrans, Nigeria will not stand. And this is why they are fighting from every area to make sure that Biafra did not stand. So that we will continue carrying them. Your sweat is what they are eating. Living on your sweat. Living on your God-given mineral resources. Your talent. Whatever. You are the one feeding Nigerians. Try to go to your country. Yoruba has told you, go back to your country and build your own nation in Igbo land. Go back to your Biafra and build your own Lagos. House has told you that they don't need you in their land. So you should go back to your Biafra land. I don't know how many times things will happen to you people and you will learn. I want to believe that our final coming together for Biafra success by wise men and women on earth shall glorify the Almighty God. And those who have abhorred us, who have made more clear of us, who have looked at us as an non-entities, they will be alive to see us moving forward, enjoying our labor, the fruit of our labor, because we have labored so much. Biafra agitation have taken many lives away by the hands of Nigeria government because they know our importance. But some of you Biafrans and Igbos does not know your importance. You see yourself as nothing. You see yourself as a nobody. You count yourself to be a Nigerian. You ask yourself, what, do you, what is it you have to contribute for in Biafra land? 
listen my own is my own and our own is our own and when the time comes you cannot stop the handwork of god nobody can stop god Biafra is divinely mapped out and created for Igbos and other Biafran's ethnic speaking languages. It's not only Igbos that are Biafran's. There are many other different languages in Nigeria that made up of Biafra nation and without uh, taking much time I want to assure you believe you me Biafra shall enter a great history in this world that there is nothing you can do without inviting Biafra government as an international community. Are you getting what I'm saying? When other countries are going for summit, Biafra representatives, Biafra government, Biafra politicians, Biafra leaders and elders shall be there without fear and without favor because why they fought for it they merit it and now the responsibility to make Biafra a comfortable place for all for all and um, to build the future of Biafra is now on the ground on the other hand, I want to say thank you to the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile. Thank you to Biafra agitators. Thank you to Biafra Liberation Armies. Thank you to uh, 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 all the Biafrans who have seen a reason to cooperate, communicated, donated immensely to see that this dream, revelations, and um, I mean robust country is being completely emancipated from the hands of the wicked ones. So, fellow dear friends, before I leave you finally, I want you to understand that you are not late and whatever you are doing for Biafra to come, it's not a waste of time. It's not a waste of resources. And I must say that all of you in Biafra land and diaspora who are making it to happen, God will bless you. As you left may be, many things you are doing for yourself to be great, to stand, and you see reason to abandon those things and believe that the greatness of Biafra nation is your destiny and future. That you cannot be greater than Biafra nation and your greatness lies in Biafra nation because whenever you go up and down, not south, west, east, you still come back to Biafra land because no place like home even if anything happens abroad you must come home 